Alrighty, so I have a really exciting update for you guys today. Most of you already know, in fact, I'm going to assume all of you already know, Yukon Striker is complete, and I'm really excited if you couldn't tell. Um, so I gotta address a couple of things before I get into the update. Um, so one is, yes, there'll still be Frontier Canada updates moving forward. We are watching them build a station and do the theming. We're now watching them disassemble um, what looks like they're disassembling um, Orbiter. Um, and uh, yeah, there's still gonna be updates, uh, lots to uh, film and watch. So uh, let's get right into this clip right here. So I filmed this from the grass hill outside of the parking lot. So again, I am not on property, do not go on property. You're not allowed on property. That includes the parking lot. Um, but uh, with my super zoom lens, I got it in there. I'm showing you the trains. That gray on the train is actually not the final product. That right there is the kind of like the underwear <laughs> of the train. Uh, there is a gold plating that goes over it. I got a little glimpse of it. It is mostly covered. So I'm so sorry I could not show you guys what I've been talking about in all my videos, but it does have a gold plating that goes over that gray. So it's almost like uh, armor that will be placed over that gray, very similar to Val Raven, um, but it's gold. It looks great. There's beige seating, like car interior again for the last time. Um, so super exciting, all that. I'll show the gold plating, I think, in just a sec uh, of the uh, backside of Yukon Striker. So super excited about that. Something else that's super interesting going on that uh, we've been watching a bit and it just get, got a little more interesting is Backlet Stunt Coaster has a building that is being erected where the old kind of photo booth was for Backlot Stunt Coaster. So as many of you know, they removed the photo booth a bit ago um, and it looks like they're rebuilding it. Um, the underneath that orange tarp is actually cement that was poured. Um, and now they're probably gonna be building a photo booth. That's what I'm assuming, cause it's in the exit of uh, Backlot. I can't see what else they would build in the exit of Backlot. It would be really weird if it was something else. Um, which also brings me to the question, could the effects come back on Backlot? I'm old and I do not remember where the photo was taken on Backlot. I have a feeling, I like to think it was taken in the effects area, but um, something in me is telling me that's not the case because there was fire and you wouldn't want that um, for the photo op. Um, so I'm guessing maybe when you come out of the tunnel and drop is where they took the photo. I have no idea. Comment down below where they took the photo on Backlot because obviously I have no idea. But um, I'm starting to question if they're bringing the photo booth back, maybe, just maybe, fingers crossed, this is a huge stretch and reach again, take this with a huge grain of salt, I have no idea, just maybe the effects are coming back on Backlot. Um, just wanted to update you guys on that and what I possibly think might be going on, but let's get to the exciting things. Yukon Striker was completed. Yes, it's complete. The vertical loop is up. No, it's not canceled. There it is right there in front of our eyes with the strap from the crane still tied to the track. Yukon Striker is absolutely done in terms of track work. Now today, they're there working. That was crazy. So we were there filming today running around, I'm soaked right now. I'm still wearing the pants I was wearing. I am soaked, I gotta go change um, into something dry, but I had to get this video out. Yukon Striker is complete. They're working on what looks like electrical in the station, lifting components onto the brake run again. I couldn't make out what they were lifting onto the brake run. It wasn't a train. Um, all the trains are accounted for in the storage lot still. I don't see a clearance envelope um, either yet. I don't think it was that at all. I'm thinking it's just electrical components or something like that. Um, now, there's a lot to talk about in terms of Yukon Striker moving forward, but I do want to touch on the fact that the um, vertical loop looks a lot better than I even imagined. I'm absolutely impressed with it. It is really tall. So it's almost as tall as the zero G roll. It's also taller than the mid course brake run. Um, and um, I know there's a lot of talk going around that it's 95 feet tall. I think that's the actual height. I'm not sure. Um, I, I'm guessing 95 feet to 105 feet, somewhere along, along that range. You can see it on the outside of the park. It looks absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to go on that. It's gonna be a really cool sensation on a dive coaster. Um, and this thing is just one inversion, two inversion, three inversion, four inversion before you even hit brakes. So that's gonna be super exciting. I'm so excited for it. You already know that though. I'm too excited for this project. That's just me. I love dive coasters and now I got a unique dive coaster I get to ride right in my backyard. Couldn't be more excited. Um, that being said, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. I'm like, <laughs> I 
sound like a crazy person right now. I feel like a crazy person right now because I'm so excited that Yukon Striker is finally complete. Feels like it's been a century that I've been watching this thing. But um, as you can see in the footage down there, if you look into the station area, um, the flooring for the actual entrance to the station and the exit um, portion of the raised station is installed. Um, it looks like they're building up now towards a second level. The second level, in my opinion, will just be for theming. It is not going to be a second level you can stand on. I know the animation made it look like you could walk across it from the entrance to the exit area. That's probably not going to be the case at all. It is just there for aesthetics. Um, but I do want to touch on something. So the animation is different from what I'm seeing now. I can definitely see differences from the animation. One thing my team and I pointed out today when we were going over the footage and comparing it to the animation is you can see the little transfer track outside of the station. It actually has the station building, the aesthetics, um, right up to the end of the transfer track. In the animation, the station building theming wise ended where the station ended. It did not touch the transfer track area. So the station is a lot larger, sorry, probably should say a little larger than the animation at this point, um, which is really cool. I can tell the queue line goes underneath that station building before you cross underneath the turnout of the station and towards the entrance. That's gonna be also really cool. Again, I'm looking for coverage over the queue line. I really wanna see signs of coverage over the queue line. No one likes waiting out in the sun uh, for a queue, for a queue line to get on a roller coaster for two to three hours, let alone four to five to six hours when this attraction first opens. Um, so I'm really hoping we see some coverage over the queue line. There is digging going on around the second drop still. I'm really confused because they poured cement in there and then they covered it up. So I, what I thought was a river doesn't look like it's going to be a river. I'm also confused because they typically don't pour cement into into electrical areas or plumbing areas. And now they're digging up more areas right next to where they had already dug up. So I am beyond confused. I have no idea what's going on in that area. Maybe it's a building, maybe it's nothing, maybe it's electrical, maybe it's plumbing, and I have no idea. We'll keep an eye on that as well as we're looking towards what's going to be built up for Frontier Canada. I'm so excited. Um, I have a feeling this is going to look absolutely stunning. Grace has been teasing a little bit um, in her replies to people on Twitter. So go read up her tweets and replies on Twitter because um, it's been absolutely fun following her along the way. And she definitely posts a lot of updates on Yukon Striker. So I expect the same for Frontier Canada and I couldn't be happier with the coverage the park has been providing on the construction project. Um, that being said, I want to touch on something. So the green building for Splashworks, um, the more I think about it and the more I've been like looking at it, it's extremely out of place now. And I'm really hoping over the next one, two, three years, we see something done with that. I would like the green roof, the Leviathan color roof to disappear and it be painted brown, even if they don't want to re-retrofit the um, building or redo the building. I think a brown roof would fit in really well. And then just maybe some even lumber type facade out the um, the outer portions of it, just something to change the look of it that it is not just that green yellow Splashworks building. I think that needs to be taken care of for Frontier Canada as Frontier Canada will curve in and around that building. So I'm really hoping for some sort of change in that area. Um, from what we saw today, there is no change for Orbiter yet. You can still see carts are missing, parts were removed. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update on Frontier Canada and Yukon Striker. A huge congratulations uh, to everyone who helped build it. Congratulations on finishing the track work. I know you have a lot of work ahead of you and it's not done yet, but a huge thank you to the iron workers, the crane operators and the theming builders and other construction crew names and job titles insert here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, congratulations Wonderland on completing Yukon Striker. Thank you for joining me on these Frontier Canada Yukon Striker updates. Um, and uh, yeah, this is really exciting. Thanks so much, guys. Hopefully you're having an amazing weekend. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Have a good one, guys. Bye.